Hi, I'm Becky Stern. Today I'm going to show you how to make your embroidery project light up. Before you begin, you're going to want to drill a hole in the edge of your wooden embroidery hoop that's the same size as the post on your switch. This way, when we're done later, the switch will poke through and we'll be able to turn the lights on and off easily. The first thing to do is to trace the pattern onto the fabric. We make a sandwich with the fabric on the bottom, then the carbon paper with the black side down, then the pattern on top, centered in the fabric. I'm going to trace it with my pen, you can use a pencil too, and everything but the outside line. And I'm going to press down really hard so that I get a good transferred line from my pattern. Now when you're all done, you can remove the pattern on the carbon paper and you see that you're left with a nice design transferred onto your fabric. Next you're going to put that fabric inside the hoop. Unscrew the screw and separate the two hoops. The solid one goes on the bottom. So center the design. This is just so that you have access to all of the working parts. We'll worry about final positioning later. And loosen the screw enough so that you can place the outer hoop over the inner hoop and start to screw it down. Then make sure that your fabric is pulled taut all around the edges. And keep tightening the screw as far as it'll go. And then you're ready to start embroidering. Now I'm going to embroider the outline of the frog using the green floss I've threaded on my needle. I've come from the back of the fabric to the front and I tied a knot in the other end to prevent it from coming all the way through. Then I'm going to make a stitch about a quarter of an inch long along the line of the frog's body and pull it from front to back. Next I'm going to come up through the fabric about a quarter of an inch down the line again and pull it through. And now I'm going to go down through the fabric right at the end of my other stitch. You can see how I'm kind of going backwards and that's why it's called the back stitch. And then I'm going to pull it through. Next I'm going to go another quarter of an inch up the line and then go back down at the end of the previous stitch. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern the whole outline. Two steps forward, one step back. I finished the frog's body, now I'm going to switch to the other colors and finish the eye, the tongue, and the two fireflies where I'll eventually put the LEDs. Now I'll show you how to prepare this LED to sew onto the fabric. We need to make uh, loops so that we can sew through them to attach the LED to the fabric with the conductive thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the leads and coil them to make little loops that we can sew through. The LED has two different length leads, this long one and this short one, and it matters which one is which. So we're going to coil one in a square and one in a circle, and then we'll be able to tell them apart when we're sewing them onto the fabric. I'm going to take the longer one and make it into a square using my pliers. I'm just going to grab part of it and bend it at a 90 degree angle, grab a little further up, bend it again, and I'll just keep going all the way up to the nice square spiral. For the other shorter lead, I'm just going to bend it into a spiral, a circular spiral. Now you can see we have one square side and one round side, and the square side is the positive side, and the round side is the negative side. Do that to both of your LEDs, and those are ready to sew. Now we're going to do the same thing to the switch, except it doesn't matter which side is which. So there you have it. Your components are ready to sew. Now I'm going to make the circuit with the conductive thread. You use it the same way you use regular embroidery floss, but to make a trace that will conduct the electricity through the LEDs from the battery. Following the diagram on the website, sew the positive leads of the LEDs together, that's the square ones, to the positive terminal on the battery holder that has a little plus sign. 
Then sew the negative leads of the LEDs together, but interrupt the path from the battery with the switch. Then I'm going to inspect the circuit that I just sewed to check for shorts and any fraying thread. I'm going to insert the battery. The side with the writing goes up. Turn it over, and the lights should turn on with the switch. And that's how you make your embroidery project illuminated.